Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Laura's Heart from Debbie Monero. This is uh, another new tangle. I, if, you, if you're following me uh, day to day, uh, yesterday we uh, launched another one because uh, today, being it's Thursday, the time of this recording, it is Tangle Time Day and we uh, premiered both of these tangles. The one we did yesterday, which was uh, La Puenta de Flor, and then this one, which is Laura's Heart. These are based on some tiles from... Uh, I'm going to get the name wrong here. Let me see if I can get it really quick. Um, for Walter P. and Laura Temple's home uh, called La Casa Nuevo uh, in Southern California. I will have a link in the description uh, for, with information on, on their house. But uh, um, uh, Deb, Debbie had... Uh, um, it's, it was a, a video it, it, it's and it, these three tiles just jumped out at her and she decided to deconstruct them and created these wonderful tangles from them and we had so much fun all right so today for Laura's heart this one starts with just a box uh, a little square Say, and I would place it in the middle of wherever you want it to be because it's going to be the center. And then once you have that, we're going to put a little cross through. It's almost like we're doing like a little mini grid, four little mini four square. Okay, then next, what I do is I'm eyeballing and then, you know, deciding, oh, I'm going to start right there apparently. <laughs> going to... um start here with a nice curve line and again I'm eyeballing and then deciding well how how far up do I want these to go and like I said this is where it's gonna start <laughs> alright and then it's just a big curve line but you want to go kind of slow and make sure to line it up with that line so that way so like I said as you're coming around just kind of line it up so that way it can merge right in and I would trace over a little bit helps with that it's like the takeoff and land concept uh, just helps with the continuity you know and I didn't do this this on uh, on our tangle time but I'm gonna do this just for us if this helps you could do both sides at once but if it helps so that way you're doing you know this was to the right I'm gonna flip my tile and do the same thing going to the right and then you know we're gonna do same same notion but we're gonna uh, mirror it and it's gonna go to the left sometimes and I know I a lot of times have a challenge with flipping it around to the other side sometimes I just have to think about it for a little bit so sometimes doing it like this where you're doing the one side turn repeat it just helps because that way you're not having to flip back and forth all right and if that's not a problem, then it's not a problem. And you just do both, <laughs> you know, do both. That's what I was doing earlier. It just, you know, I, I share these things so that way, if it helps you, great. If not, great. <laughs> okay, then from the center of the heart, uh, we've been calling these um, fancy fescues. Um, it, the, the stroke is similar to like if you've done the tangle opus uh there's a there's a couple other ones where we use this stroke so what it is is i'm going to draw a curve line and the end of it is like our fancy fescue so curve line and then it just kind of folds back in on itself like so okay and you know what well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep going with that uh then what i had shared earlier i'm gonna flip and do the same thing so coming in the same direction and then we're going to mirror it going the other direction. And you know, when I flip it back on itself, if you watch really carefully, I don't just end it. I, I, I do a little curve line back into, like a little merge. So back into itself. This one looks like I just did a bloop stop. It works either way. But sometimes I like it when it's um, 
Oh, this is so funny. Look at this. I did it here and here, and I just did a stop. Here, I didn't think about it. It just, it just, I did it. And that was what made me think, oh, I should point that out. <laughs> but I, I don't know. You know what? Sometimes I do things on with things going one direction and not the other. It's just funny. All right. Last step on this one is it's going to be a similar stroke, but we're going to start from the center. And I just need, needed to turn my tile so that way it's comfortable. But we're going to come the opposite direction. So again, starting from this, and I'm going to do this this side. And this one, I'm, I'm going to have it kind of go down kind of straight-ish. But so this curve, you know, um, well, it makes a little, oh, like a little Y. All right. And I'm going to turn this so that way I'm at least, my hand is comfortable. But I, the same problem where it's like when they're doing the flip side, it just sometimes doesn't want to be happy. Oh, and let me do this this way. And I, too, turn the tile so that way, um, if at all possible, I like to use the natural curve of my hand. You know, when it's, you know, it's planted here and it, it just naturally curves. And it's nice to just utilize that. <laughs> and like so. Then you get to play. And... You know, let's just, uh, oh, let's do. All right, so if I was going to play, I would color this in. Oh, that didn't work so well. <laughs> I was trying to leave a little slice there, but let's just do this. Um, it's just, I find it fun to leave the little opening and you know what, um, to leave the little opening and then color around it. Yes, there's my one. Okay. And you know, it's really hard to do that with, it's like, uh, it's nice to use the thicker. Pen, but you know what, when it's tiny, sometimes it just doesn't work. And, uh, you know, if you're, if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, uh, I, I like to leave these little gaps because sometimes it's like, if you don't happen to have a... A white jelly roll and you and you say oh those those sh little the way they make it shine looks so neat you just leave a little gap and actually that would work for any um, any color tile that you're working on of course it's you know when it's on a white tile it is um, it makes more of a, a difference I guess you could say but give it a try if you don't happen to have a white jelly roll and you know well and the other thing with it sometimes even you know, like on a color tile even if you have a white jelly roll just leaving that space open then you're not uh putting the white jelly roll or the, yeah the white gel pen on top of the black ink or whatever color that you're using so sometimes it's just kind of nice to do that but but you know there we have it and shading um, oh, you know what? I did like it. I'm going to do this because I liked how Deb shaded. She did one where I th it seemed like she maybe shaded just these top bits. But I kind of thought it was neat when she shaded just kind of down here. Lots of ways to do it. Uh, in the description section, uh, I will have, of course, uh, my step out and a link to, uh, to Deb's step out, including, you know, some work and her inspiration. Um, and as I mentioned, there'll, there'll be a, a link. Oh, see, that looks really neat, doesn't it? And then, um, let's just aura, aura these. Oh, wait. 
but wait. Um, while I'm doing this, uh, yeah, so links in the description below the step outs. Um, there will be a, there are links to connect with me if you wish to. If you'd like to join me for uh, a live Tangle Time session, would love to have you join in. I do have the replays on the YouTube channel, so uh, take a look at look for those. <laughs> Sorry, I get giggly when I get ideas because <laughs> it's just way too much fun uh, but yeah I would love to have you join us for for a tangle time we have a lot of fun and, and it's kind of like what I'm doing here just expanded with more people and uh, we have a lot of fun exploring tangles and you know sharing ideas that at the end we share all of our work like I said I have some replays that are available on the YouTube channel so check it out and you know and if you think you'd like to do come and join us uh, the tangle times are free I do those weekly I, I do them two times a day and it's, it's the same tangle both times. And uh, we have a lot of people that come come to both because we just try it a different way. And, and it's just so much fun. So would love to have you join us. If you enjoyed this video, would love to have a thumbs up or a like. Feel free to share it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would love to have you be a subscriber. Of course, that is free. Um, I mentioned the classes. I do have I, I, I do classes weekly, sometimes twice a week. I have uh, one additional one uh, once a month that's uh, a free one, and then I have a couple that are paid, so that way I can keep myself in pens and electricity and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> so anyway, would love to have you join in on the fun. And with that, thanks again so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling. Have fun with this one. <laughs>